There are many different types of filled pasta. Agnoletti, tortelli, tortellini, capoletti. Endless. Uh, endless, endless. Can you name a few more? Well, an annolini, tagliatelli, capiletti, capillacci. They're just, just <laughs> It sounds like infinite. a song. Infinite. Well, these pastas can be filled with ricotta cheese, with um, meat, meat mixtures, vegetables. Uh, but Michael has a favorite, uh, and I, I love this one, made with robiola cheese and parmesan. Exactly. And this is a cow and sheep milk cheese that comes from Italy. Uh, Piedmont, to be exact. It almost has the texture of uh, cream cheese. Or yeah, very tasty cheese, and uh, it's addictive. Uh, so six packages of robiola, robiola. Um, and some Parmesan, a half a cup of grated Parmesan. And all of this parsley? Uh, just it, really up to you. And, and this is what we would call the magro filling. Uh, parsley. Oh, I like uh, all of it. Yeah. And well, uh, may I? Oh, add an egg, of and course. Add an egg. And the reason for adding an egg is the fact that when it cooks, it will solidify, and therefore the raviola, being a very high butterfat cheese, would just liquefy oh. inside the raviola. A little bit of salt and pepper, okay. absolutely fine. And Black we'll pepper, do a, okay? Sure. A little grating of nutmeg, oh, yeah. uh, which Definitely. is ubiquitous in, in uh, ravioli in the north of Italy. Mm. Uh, so this looks very good. Perfect color. Very nice. We're going to make the first uh, set of raviolis, we've taken this filling, we put it inside here, inside a bag. Oh, okay. You could, you could do dollops with a spoon or if you had a pastry bag. So you're spraying the pasta because it got a little dry? It got a little dry, okay. and this will help close it. Oh, good, yeah, make it a little exactly. self-sticky. I, I feel sometimes people, they want to add egg wash or these, that's really not necessary. So you're gonna fold this over here? I'm gonna go forward where we could do this, and this is a quick way to do it at home. You could also cut a strip and lay it on top of that. becomes a little bit more. And we'll, we'll go forward, and then we'll go in between these, okay? Oh, so you're making smallish. We're making small little ravioli. Oh, so beautiful. And this would be beautiful for a soup or any kind of summer-type um, sauce. And then we could... Um, we and do you always use the um, zigzag? We, what we do is the, the, the front part of it should be zigzag. Oh, why? It really adds kind of that edge that I know for sure that it's closed because I don't have another piece of pasta over the top of it and I didn't go around in circles. And then we can do a couple of different things. Number one, you can make them like this. Oh, and, I and, love that. I have then, never done that. And then you can just do straight like this, okay? And so done. You have done. ravioli. And you have little little ravioli. But the other thing we little could do pillows. here is if you were doing a little sauce, let's say this would be fabulous with butter and sage or a little bit of melted butter. Mm. But what we could do is we could fold this forward like that. And then this is called an agnolotti. And what this does, that's perfect. We have a little mm. pocket and the sauce uh -huh. goes inside here like this. So you just keep going like that and we can go forward. I'll show you another way of doing that as well. And this is a traditional. That's very nice, I like this. And, and this is a, what we call la labra, or the lip, and this picks up sauce. So I would like to make a raviolo for you, and raviolo, olo, mean large. And so what we'll do is we'll go just like this. Mm, that much. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an area. Can I put a yolk? Just or the yolk, egg? just the yolk. So just. we'll go inside. Ah, this is very interesting. It's a very pretty. We'll put a little spot on the bottom so it has something to rest on. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And we'll take a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of pepper. That's perfect, please. Okay, now we'll do the spray again. Where, just there? Just perfect. Okay. And then we'll go over the top. And then what we do is we use this again, going like this. And it makes a nice round. Oh, look how beautiful. And then. This your, is pasta making at its best. Like this. And this is a fabulous <gasps> brunch item. And you just go just like that. And this takes about four minutes in the water. And I would recommend sauteing a, some asparagus spears, maybe a little tomato concasse, melted butter, basil, and you just strew that over the top of it. And when you boil it and you crack it, a liquid egg yolk comes out. Raviolo with <laughs> raviolo okay. and egg. How great. So now there are three other filled pastas that Michael White is going to show us how to form uh, using this beautiful 
eggy pasta dough. Double zero. Double zero pasta dough. The reason why we're using double zero is the fact that, that we're doing many, many folds here. As you can see, we start with a, with a triangle, which we'll make now, but it has four thicknesses here, mm. so it has to be a very, very tender flour. Okay. So we'll start by making tortelli, which are about three inches wide. Now, do you ever use a ruler? This is uh, after 23 years of... Uh, <laughs> So but then, if you're a beginner, you could use a ruler as a, a we, straight edge too, and you don't. Uh, it, it's, it's it will save you time. We want to straighten these up, and so okay. what we'll do is we'll put down a nice portion of this, and for an entree, this is probably 10, 10, 12 pieces, maybe more. And what we'll do is we'll give a quick spray, pardon my reach, and then we're just going to go up. So spraying is so much faster than brushing. Than brushing. So it equal right at the right to the top. Right to the top, and then we'll get all that air out. So this is what we start with, okay? Okay. I'm going to show you two different types of tortelli. This is the more rustic way, where you just do a closure such as this, and then we lay them flat. These are a little bit bigger. Oh, so that's nice. Just flat. That's a very classic way. That's kind of a la nonna. And at the restaurant, we do one more little pinch. So what we do is the same as this, but then if I hold it like this, I'm going to pinch it like that. Oh, I like that. Bravissima. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Perfect. And then? And then I'm going to go right around my finger. Oh yes, that's very nice. It's like and a so little miter of a pope. Exactly, and this is a- The this. pope's hat. The little cappet, torta, tortelli means cake. So this is like a little cake. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. And now we're gonna make these little teensies. Oh, here we go. What so are they called? These are called tortellini. Oh, okay. And these are the pasta namesake of uh, Bologna. Okay, so you want very thin pasta, very but thin. very small squares. S small squares. Are these filled with meat or cheese? We, we'll do cheese. Okay. We'll do cheese this time. But traditionally is a, is a mixture of mortadella and prosciutto, copious amounts of parmigiano and a little bit of nutmeg. But no zigzag edges no. on these. Mm, these are great. So we do the same as this. We can do a couple different ones. We'll do it, we'll show you the simple one exactly. Okay. The, the great part about this kind of pasta is, is that it can be frozen. So after making this, what we do is uh, leave it uncovered and we'll put it in the freezer on a small tray like this freeze and we can put it into storage these bags. Look, these work so well. Perfect. Very nice.